Hello all. Um, quite a few people have asked how I painted the salamanders so quickly. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly try and do a video. Um, I'm using one lamp, so uh, lighting might not be great, but you get the gist of it. Um, and these are about quantity, not quality. So here's our salamander, a basic uh, GW Mini. Um, I've put an Empire blunderbuss on there. And now all we're going to do is get some army paint a tone, blue tone, and we are going to paint it on. We're just going to slap this on. Um, now you can do the whole figure, which is what I'll do. Um, and basically you just pile it on. And I do apologise, this is the first time I've tried painting and I'm using my iPhone and a little tripod that I got off Amazon, um, but we are, so if I if the angles aren't right, I do apologize. But you can see there, there's no science to this. It is literally just gonna be piled on. And then the other technique is to basically just stick with the scales, and you can see that. I'm basically just gonna put this onto the scaled area and you don't need to be too clever, too uh, careful, but I'm literally just going to put it on halfway down the leg here. Uh, tie it all in like that. And just make sure you get all of these. And the face, if you be careful, you can might get away with not doing the teeth, but I didn't worry about it. I was uh, in a rush um, and the seven day army was painted in. In, I suppose you could say six because uh, I spent a day playing Frostgrave, which is a very good game. Um, so that's what I've basically done. You keep an eye on it to make sure it's still moving. And then once that's dry, I'm not going to let it dry. I'm going to cheat here. Um, you then use some soft tone. I'll just quickly clean that. And basically get some soft tone. On your brush and then all you do is you paint the rest of the leg and go just up to the scales so on this side if I show you here uh, let's make sure it's in camera all I'm gonna do is just paint along the underside like that uh, get his arm only up to the scales and the same with the with the torso and you can see that um, you basically paint up to it and uh, you do it all underneath. And I'll finish these now. Um, and then I'll show you what the finished article looks like. Um, and then the gold was literally just retributor gold, uh, retributor armor. Um, and, and then some basin, as you can see there. Um, as I said, they're not going to win any competitions, but um, they're, they're painted. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully people find this interesting. Um, I'll add the uh, finished article to the end of this video and then you can see what happened. Hello all, um, so second half of the video. Um, I've put some Retributor armor on. Um, I didn't make you sit through that. Um, but as you can see here, uh, the blues worked fine. Uh, it's a bit detail in the scales. Put a little bit of Retributor on and afterwards I'll wash that with um, something flesh tone wash or something. Um, but just to make the scales stand out, what I'm now going to do is just put another coat of the blue wash on all of the scales. So all of the back, the top half, um, the top of the thighs, um, just to make them stand out a little bit more. And hopefully my hands are not getting too much of the way of the picture. Uh, now I know why the guys who do fantastic videos, um, I know... Uh, I, well, I don't know how they do such a good job because um, it's uh, it's quite a tricky process. But um, you can do the little spots. So here we've just got a couple of little scales there. Do the head again. Um, let's just do the head just again, just to liven it up. Now, I didn't like the flesh-coloured underside. Um, I didn't like it because I was using gold instead of silver. I wanted to have that sort of Mayan look. Um, so I I didn't bother with it, um, but I'm going to show you that one as well. So I basically put this over all of the top half, all of the scales again, get another coat. Make sure it gets right in there. You want it to be nice and dark, give you a nice deep blue. 
Um, you can do a little bit on the face here where there's some scales. Uh, I've done that side. Um, so yeah, that just, and then just do that little dot on his leg there. So hopefully that's showing up on there. My hand's not the only thing you're seeing. I gave him a little gold tooth as well, as he's a Corsair, I suppose. Um, now here's the soft tone. Uh, now you can use a flesh tone. I could have done the sepia as well. Um, you could use whatever you wanted really. Um, but the blue looks quite pale there. So I'm just gonna darken that up again. Now, um, and you can see I've done anything that looks slightly armored, um, got a gold wash, uh, uh, sorry, a gold paint. Um, but this leg, darken it right up. Just make it give you that two tone look. Um, and so you can see it's um, a pretty easy, pretty easy paint job. And that was why I could uh, get that army done so quickly. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Happy to go back and add some more units really. But um, it's uh, it's quite a lot of points. You see I've messed up there. Um, now a good thing with these washes is there's a bit of mist as well. Just put some more blue on it. The good thing with these washes is wet your brush and just wipe it away. If you make a mistake, just wash it off. Just put loads of paint on and then dry it up afterwards. You can most you can hide most of your mistakes, um, and uh, so that hides that. Let's do his head as well. Just give him a, and you can see there's there's really no no secret to it. I'm literally just slapping it on, um, and then we'll show you those when they're finally finished. I'm not going to paint the guns because that's up to you. What sort of I don't I don't think you want to see me do that. Um, but that's um, that's basically the color scheme, um, and uh, we'll come back when they're finished. Thank you. Hello all, um, here's the final instalment, um, if you're still with me then uh, well done, you deserve a medal. Um, so basically I painted a lot of these salamanders, yeah, as you know, in seven days if you watch the other videos. Um, it could have been done a lot better, but they were done for speed. So that is basically what they look like. And then all you need to do then is quickly dry brush in the teeth. Uh, do the claws however you want. So we've, this is just a wash, remember, this was Army Painter Blue Tone, um, slapped all over, and then I put it again on the back of the scales. So you can see the underside is lighter than the back. Um, I used Retributor Armor for the gold, which goes over fine over white, and then literally washed it with a flesh wash. Uh, just the gold was washed with a flesh wash. Obviously, I haven't painted the weapon here, um, and you can see what they look like when completed. Now, here's the ones I didn't do, and the reason I didn't do this colour was I didn't like the the way the flesh clashed, clashed with the gold. I was doing quite a lot of gold, so um, I, I opted out of this, and they actually look quite nice. In the video, um, I painted his face blue, um, and then realised that was a mistake, so I quickly washed, wiped that off, washed it off with uh, water. Um, so you do this the same colour as the arms, and you can do this any colour you want, whatever, yellow, um, you know, you can do whatever, um, flesh colour, whatever. I just used Army Paint a Soft Tone, and for me, that'll do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Army's done very quickly. Uh, gold, and then again a flesh wash on the gold. Then you paint the weapons, the shields, and things like that to give it the, the um, to give it a bit more character, but um, quite a straightforward colour scheme, uh, and very easy to paint. So that was those. Um, hopefully that's been of some use to some people. Um, and if it hasn't, then I apologise for taking up your time. Um, have a lovely Sunday.